we're going to look at the stereographic projection, which is going to be a bijection between most of the points on the unit sphere you see pictured here and the complex plane, pictured as the xy plane here. So let's let n be the point 0, 0, 001, the top of the sphere. Let's take p to be a point on the sphere. Let's say the coordinates of p are x, y, and z, and p is a distinct point from n. Now the line through p and n, that's going to determine a unique point in the xy plane. We're going to call that 5p, and its coordinates are x prime plus i, y prime. Notice as p varies, just how 5p varies as well. So in particular, if p is on the bottom hemisphere, notice 5p is inside the unit circle in the xy plane. If p is on the northern hemisphere, notice 5p is outside the unit circle in the xy plane. And as p approaches the north pole, notice that 5p's distance from the origin, in other words, its modulus, gets gigantic. Now what we're going to try to do is uncover a formula for this association p to 5p. We're going to try to figure out how x prime and y prime relate to x, y, and z. And the way that we'll do this is by using similar triangles. So the ratio of the legs of the blue triangle, the bottom leg and the vertical leg, would be x over 1 minus c. E. That should be the same as the ratio of the corresponding legs for the orange triangle. So that gives us a formula for x prime. Remember that. x prime is x over 1 minus c. E. Now we're going to switch over to the yz plane and repeat the process. So the blue triangle, its bottom leg has distance y, and the top leg is 1 minus e, and that should be the same as the ratio of the legs of the green triangle, which would just be y prime. So we've uncovered how x prime and y prime relate to x, y, and z. Thus the formula for the stereographic projection is going to be x over 1 minus e plus i, y over 1 minus e. Now the next thing that we're going to try to do, because this function is a bijection, is go the other way. What if you start with a point in the complex plane? How do we recover the corresponding point on the sphere? So if the point in the plane has coordinates x plus i, y, how do we recover the point x prime, y prime, z prime that's on the sphere? And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to try to use similar triangles again. But rather than look in the xz plane and the yz plane, we'll just do it all at once. So when we draw our triangles, we see the following relationship, that x over 1 should be the same thing as x prime over 1 minus z prime, trying to color these with the triangles that are being used. And similarly, y over 1 is y prime over 1 minus z prime. What we're going to do is square these and add them up. And that would tell us that x squared plus y squared, the sum of the left side, should be the sum of the right side, where I've got a common denominator. And now what we'll do is we'll use the equation of the sphere, which allows me to rewrite x prime squared plus y prime squared. That's the same thing as 1 minus z prime squared. If you factor the numerator, you can cancel, and now you can solve this little equation for z prime, and here is the formula for z prime that we uncover that depends only on x and y. Now you can substitute these in to our colorful equations in green and purple above to obtain y prime and x prime, how they depend on x and y. And so to put it all together, we've uncovered the inverse of the stereographic projection to have this formula here.